Please be advised that this recorded webinar has been edited from its original format, which may have included a product demo. To set up a live demo or to request more information, please complete the form to the right. Or if you are currently not on CSC Global, there is a link to the website in the description of this video. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar, Transform Global Subsidiary Management with CSC. My name is Caitlin Alberta and I will be your moderator. Joining us today are John LaPalamento, Sebastian Gaddini, and Rohir Bronk. John is a Global Subsidiary Management Service Consultant. He has been with CSC for over nine years. John works with GSM Prospects to present an accurate and clear scope of services and remains in contact with them as the overall relationship manager for all GSM clients. Sebastian is the Director of Global Subsidiary Management. He's an industry expert driving the strategic direction of the business and further expanding CSC's service offerings and global footprint. Rohir led the commercial rollout of global subsidiary management, equivalent at Intertrust in the Americas, and has over 20 years of experience in providing solutions to the organizations with large multi-jurisdictional entity portfolios. And with that, let's welcome John, Sebastian, and Rohir. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, we want to thank everybody for joining us, regardless of where you are around the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for sharing your time with CSC today. My name is John LaPalamento. Uh, as was stated there, I am one of the, the senior consultants for our suite of global subsidiary management services, and we look forward to exploring this with you today. Uh, for today's agenda, first we're going to talk a little bit about, about CSC. One of the things we're going to focus on, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, share the surprise here, We've been celebrating for the last month, of course, our acquisition of the InterTrust Group. So we'll be talking a bit about that acquisition. We're going to focus on global corporate governance around the world. We're first going to talk a bit about the landscape of the industry, uh, what you'll come to expect, what has been the norm, and how we really pioneer change in the industry. We're going to talk about the, change, the challenges of managing a multinational entity portfolio this is certainly a hot topic for so many of our clientele. Of course, as a global service provider, we see clients of all shapes and all sizes, and many times they're coming to us for information and knowledge about managing multinational entity portfolios. In many cases, they have a wide footprint around the globe, and we're here to help. We're going to talk a little bit about the challenges that are seen in that space. Of course, we're going to focus today largely on CSE's global subsidiary management solution being a centralized approach to corporate secretarial governance that's highly malleable and really here to meet the needs of our clients around the world. And lastly, we're going to finish with Q&A. I encourage everybody to use the Q&A widget that you have access to within the platform. Uh, feel free to put your questions in there. If your question is uh, extremely relevant at the, at the time that we're speaking about something, we may go to that question live in the moment, or we may save questions to be answered later in the event. So don't feel that you have to wait. If a question is, um, is, is stimulated by way of our conversation, please take full advantage of the Q&A widget. So as I had already mentioned during the agenda, we are so proud that two wonderful companies are coming together. Of course, CSC has such a rich legacy working not only here in the U.S. but around the world. CSC's 120 plus uh, legacy is now joined with this wonderful relationship, not relationship, two-plus billion-dollar acquisition of the InterTrust Group. InterTrust, of course, a pioneer in global services, trust and fiduciary services, and relevant to this call, of course, global corporate secretarial services. Together, we're a powerhouse, and it's a, it's a, a relationship and an acquisition that we've been celebrating internally here, sharing with our clients, singing it from the rooftops. Um, together, our company, our one company now has doubled in size, having over 7,500 employees around the world on five continents around the world. We've added an additional 80 local offices to CSC's portfolio of offices around the world, combining a 200-year history, world-class client services, and very importantly, we're still the same CSC that our clients know, respect, and love. We're still a privately held company, but we're still professionally managed. We now have even greater expertise around the world. And most importantly, I think to know is that 
this is a true commitment to CSC's global expansion. For such a long time here in the U.S., with our, with our founding in 1899, we had really pioneered U.S. services, U.S. registered agent, annual report services, business licenses. Of course, make no mistake that we've been working internationally for over 50 years. We're no strangers to the international space really rolling out and focusing our efforts on our global corporate secretarial services over the past decade. I'm happy to have been a part of that from the very beginning in my 13-year history here at CSC. But now we've bolstered this, this service so much by way of this acquisition, bringing our own local experts and uh, new members to our team. I'm so happy to be able to introduce some new members of our team here today. I'm sure there are plenty of questions about the acquisition and about new services that are now available here at CSC, and I'll always encourage everybody to reach out to a member of our customer service team, or if you do have a, a client solutions manager, if you're an existing client of CSC, please make that connection, ask those questions. We're happy to, we're very proud of this acquisition, and we're certainly happy to do explore this further with you. So let's talk a little bit about the global solutions that we'll be chatting about today. And actually what we're focusing on this slide are some of the places where the acquisition has bolstered our holdings. A big part of that, of course, is in our global capital markets division here at CSC, offering trust and fiduciary services around the world. Now this, of course, is an area where CSC had offered services, but Intertrust has been and continues to be a global leader in this space. This makes us so strong, bringing our service offering together in the global capital markets arena. Fund solutions, again, our global financial uh, market solutions, fund services, is such a big part of our offering. And again, this acquisition um, more than just bolsters what CSC already had. This is adding to our, our world-class services uh, in a way that we've never seen before. Today's focus, of course, will be on global subsidiary management which is our centralized and simplified approach to corporate secretarial governance in over 145 countries around the world. This is where my area of expertise lies. I work daily helping prospective clients and current CSC clients understand exactly what we do and how we do it when it comes to our suite of global subsidiary management services. And I'm also here to understand the unique needs of our clients. Global subsidiary management truly is bringing together a centralized approach by way of a unified team with hubs for the service out of our Wilmington, Delaware headquarters, our European headquarters out of London, and our Asian headquarters out of Singapore. Of course, we'll be expanding on this much, much more. A little bit about global corporate governance, the industry landscape, and I'm happy to introduce my new colleague and friend, Rohair. Yeah, thank you, John. And it's interesting, I'm looking back at the, at the poll. Um, I was actually expecting those uh, those numbers um, simply because if you look at the global corporate governance industry landscape, while ESG has taken over the digital transformation in most organizations, simply because most organizations assume that in-house legal teams have successfully implemented uh, this by now, uh, we still see an increase in request for support with corporate governance as a result of an increased workload. Um, the pandemic has actually resulted in smaller in-house legal teams. The complexity of um, the regulatory landscape, especially in the international arena, has um, prompted many in-house legal teams to also look again at uh, partnering with a global provider. Um, so that's why I wanna look at the next slide, which goes into US simplicity versus the cross-border complexity. Um, I'm no expert by all means in the U.S. domestic uh, business side. As I've, my main focus has always been on U.S. outbound in the international space. Uh, but if you look at the differences and like to touch base on the global entity compliance services are broader in scope uh, that fall within the corporate secondary framework, um, you have to deal with, you know, the nuances in this very uh, jurisdiction-specific um, regulations. It's often uh, not transparent what needs to be done and when. Uh, there's also high, highly uh, advanced uh, anti-money laundering uh, scope and projects. So know your customer. It's the setup of actually partnering with these global firms that might 
uh, not be so clear if you walk through it. Uh, we often get the request of assisting with KYC uh, when they are moving, when our clients are moving to from uh, one to another financial institution. Ultimate beneficial ownership. Um, you know, while the UK was one of the first ones to implement this in 2016, the majority of the countries in the EU have implemented this. However, Lithuania and Spain have not officially met the 2020 deadline. Uh, they do have platforms in place, but it's not officially. So there are a lot of differences that uh, that need to be adhered to. Uh, but John, maybe you can tell a little bit more about the uh, U.S. simplicity uh, versus uh, how we look at the international space. Yeah, absolutely. This, this is a conversation that comes up on a daily basis because while CSE is a global company, I'm stationed, of course, here uh, out of our Wilmington, Delaware headquarters, and largely I'm speaking with with uh, North Americans who are working internationally. And the conversation comes up all the time about, well, frankly, how simple things are here in the U.S., and sometimes there's an expectation that that same simplicity is is true in other jurisdictions outside of the U.S. Uh, I try to frame the conversation that every jurisdiction is different. This is not a matter of services inside the U.S., or I'll say responsibilities inside the U.S. and outside the U.S., the truth is, this is a matter of corporate secretarial responsibilities inside the U.S. and inside the U.K. and inside Australia and inside Italy and inside Brazil and inside Japan and so on. There is a, a certainly a difference, a different Companies Act in every jurisdiction where you might be working. And if you are an American on this call, it's very easy sometimes to lose sight of what those obligations look like outside of the U.S. Here inside the U.S., Realistically, things are fairly simple. Of course, you have an obligation to have a listed registered agent in, in just about every state. That's a requirement. Of course, that is state-driven, not country-driven. And we certainly hope that you've partnered with CSC to act as your registered agent, where we would have the responsibility, of course, to field service or process and government notifications on your behalf. We're very proud of the digital pr platform that we've pioneered, same-day electronic SOP, uh, the delivery of uh, governance mailings in a timely fashion with, with acknowledgement and so on. We're also here to handle your domestic annual report obligations, which is fairly simple and unique by jurisdiction. But what you don't see here in the United States, of course, are requirements, unless you're in a heavily regulated arena, requirements for, for things such as annual general meetings. There's no requirement that your board of directors gets together and memorializes that by way of written minutes or, or consents. There's no requirement that you maintain your physical minute books in a specific location. In many cases, there's no real requirements about reporting in some cases. These are all things that you will see around the world. And quite frankly, for a lot of private American companies, there is a feeling of anonymity where outside of the United States, in every jurisdiction, and of course CSC working as your service provider, we're going to have obligations to collect due diligence about your entities. Now, that's going to change here in the U.S. I encourage everybody to uh, to look up the, the U.S. Transparency Act that is coming, uh, coming your way, certainly getting ahead of that. But the way things currently are, it's fairly simple in the U.S., and that's so different as to your obligations around the world, um, where you do have requirements for physical minute books that are maintained somewhere where you do have obligations for regulated shareholders' meetings, directors' meetings, uh, the proper lodging of those minutes, annual account filings, and in many cases, even appointments that satisfy requirements for, for residency within a jurisdiction. Yeah, thank you, John. And, you know, as mentioned, the, the, the complex regulatory landscape that is changing quite often um, and having difficulty to accessing that local expertise is, is a recipe for disaster. Um, you know, it's, in, it's extremely difficult for in-house legal teams who manage those large portfolios, as we saw earlier in the poll, uh, to keep up to date with any changes in local legislation that might affect uh, the entity and the good legal standing of that entity uh, in each of the jurisdictions that they are operating in. Um, you know, a change in requirement to have a majority resident directors in a certain jurisdiction for six months from now, um, but also simply adding a third director in Spain, now you become a board, which triggers the fact that you need to appoint a chairman of secretary. 
are all changes that are logic results of doing business internationally. Um, while all providers have a fiduciary duty to inform their clients, um, it's often done through newsletters and mailings, um, email blasts, etc. cetera. Um, and you as the client need to extract the information that, um, uh, that uh, changes the, uh, the good legal standing of your, of your entity. Often in-house legal teams that we have seen before have decreased in number, their workloads have expanded, uh, also their tasks have increased this all contributes to, again, a recipe for disaster if you are not informed well. So it's most important that you find out on who to partner with, who is the best partner for you in your particular case. Uh, someone that at least provides uh, our, its clients with proactive information about these uh, changes, but also provides you information through subject matter experts, for example, with the change of um, the, uh, the, uh, the change of the board in, in Spain that I just mentioned. But here you see a few of those uh, challenges that are international. We touched base on the complex regulatory landscape, but also difficulty in accessing local expertise. Um, these are the most common ones that we bump into, but um, I think, Sebastian, uh, you might want to speak about some of those from an operational level. Um, Sebastian, over to you. <clears throat> yes, absolutely. So uh, you, you said it well. I think it's um, uh, it, it's getting more and more complex, uh, especially the more you uh, you have entities in in, in more countries. Uh, I would mention a, a, a few uh, a few challenges that uh, uh, we don't necessarily see at, uh, at at the very beginning is um, around the inconsistent service level, for example. When you go abroad and you start having multiple vendors, well, first of all, uh, they might refer to, they might have a different terminology for services. Uh, they might have a different pricing. They might have a different way of working. Uh, and, and you need to adjust to that. So if you uh, do business in 50 countries, well, now that's 50 different uh, vendors you have to deal with and, and you multiply all of that. Um, one thing that will become very, very, um, I would say, um, uh, 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 tricky is the KYC uh, sharing with, uh, with these multiple vendors. Uh, we, we, we saw in the last few years uh, uh, leaks uh, in, the, in the past, uh, in, the, in the news, and uh, obviously, no one wants to be on these uh, on these papers. Uh, the more you have vendors around the world, the more you expose yourself to share critical information to multiple people. So you multiply the risk of of having uh, a, a leakage here of sensitive information. Um, <clears throat> there is um, maybe one uh, one example I want to I want to give as, as well that I have seen in the past. Uh, when you go abroad. Uh, it's very difficult to anticipate everything. And uh, very often, we, or sometimes we hear some clients saying, hey, I come to you because I don't know what I don't know, basically. And uh, uh, that's what we, we, we hear for. Uh, I'll give you an example that is, uh, that happened you know, in a different country at a different time. I was at a different employer. But we had one, one global client uh, that uh, wanted to acquire business in uh, Southeast Asia. And they, uh, they, they, they did, and they did a lot of the work internally. There's one thing they didn't anticipate was the HR, uh, uh, the HR aspect that you see here on that, on that slide. Uh, and basically, uh, because of the, the, the type of acquisition they were making and the, the way they were structuring this, and you know, the appointments they were making there, uh, they had 50%, um, about 50% of their workforce over there in that country that immediately, as a result of the acquisition, they immediately lost their visa status. They were immigrants there. And they didn't anticipate that. Uh, the, the reason for that was that they, they didn't have uh, the right network of vendors and support in that country that, that could have helped them. 
And I can guarantee you that for any employer whatsoever, when you get into a country and then from one day to another, half of your workforce is gone, that's, that's a real challenge. So uh, sometimes there are little things that you don't anticipate, but they have a, an enormous impact on, on, on your business. Um, all the others are pretty obvious, you know, uh, uh, I would say uh, um, uh, different time zone, different language, different cultures, etc. cetera. Uh, but uh, uh, it, it depends on the industry, it depends on where you go. Uh, more and more you would see um, KYC, banking, legal uh, uh, requirements uh, are, are being uh, more and more uh, of, of, of the hot topics, of course. I'll put you know, here. Sebastian, here. I'll jump in real quickly and say, Sebastian, you, you, you touched on briefly. One of the, the most common challenges that I hear on a daily basis from our, from our discussions is just managing multiple vendors around the world. So while there's all of these um, very important moving targets around the world, if you're trying to do that with a plethora of different, uh, a fractured network of vendors, it makes it extremely challenging. And of course, we're going to talk about how CSC can, can centralize your efforts there. Uh, Rohir? Yeah, thank you, uh, John. Let's, um, let's look at a few general considerations. And um, while we actually have come up with, uh, with these bullet points, um, we're missing actually three, uh, which is the top three for most in-house legal teams or organizations, which is cost reduction, cost reduction, cost reduction. And we always laugh about that in, in our conversations with, uh, with our clients because that's their main goal, cost reduction. Um, obviously, resourcing and budget falls under that, but the main talking points initially are um, we need to get this done on a very tight budget. What can you do for us? So if we then look at the, uh, at the remaining bullet points there, um, it, it, it all makes sense to me because Legal in-house uh, teams are a cost to any organization, uh, which means that um, getting the service on a global level for uh, the most cost-effective price uh, will really put you up in, in the ranks internally. However, a uh, number of legal entities, is it really necessary to, for example, acquire a very expensive um, entity management system that you can pick off the shelves and make it your own? Or uh, can you partner with a, a global provider that has an entity management system like CSC, last bullet point, technology? Um, what can it do for you? Do you are you a startup um, and would you like to outsource your entire legal operations to um, a company like CSC Global that can grow with you um, in any of the jurisdictions that you might expand to from formation of the entity, annual compliance, as well as any ad hoc uh, service request within not only the corporate secretarial services, uh, but also with accounting and payroll, uh, treasury and escrow services. Um, so it depends a little bit on where you are. So a number of legal entities is extremely important to make that decision. We often see clients come to us that are in the 25, 30 entity realm um, internationally and say like, okay, we hit a wall. How do we move here? Because it comes um, very cumbersome and difficult to keep up with uh, the, the regulatory changes. Um, jurisdiction incorporation of foreign qualification. Where, um, where do you want to operate? How difficult is it to set up an entity? Do you need local expertise? Are there substance requirements? Is it a highly regulated uh, jurisdiction like Luxembourg in the Netherlands? Um, do you require additional assistance uh, on, like I said earlier, outside corporate secretarial service package, on accounting, on payroll, etc.? So which level of support do you really need? Um, do you have uh, um, legal team members sitting in various jurisdictions or regions around the globe that can assist you um, with maintaining your, uh, your, your entities? Or do you have a large uh, in-house legal team for the larger uh, organizations listening to this uh, webinar that actually want to ensure that the five or 10% that each of those individuals um, support the organization to keep the entities in good legal standing and decrease um, the level of involvement and have actually these high paid in-house attorneys focus on the strategic um, performance of the company and not so much on the administrative burden 
of um, of keeping the entities in good legal standing. So material properties of the legal entity, as mentioned here, um, speak for themselves. And, 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 and obviously, last bullet point that I touched base on um, entity management systems. Um, there are quite a bit out there in the market. Uh, sometimes it might actually be, be most easy to have your service provider also provide the entity management system. For those who are already a client with CSC and are on the platform from CSC, now with the expansion of uh, and the global reach that we have as a combined uh, company together with Intertrust, um, we can also service your entities globally and provide that level of transparency on your statutory information for all these entities globally while you still have your single point of contact here in the Delaware office uh, in Wilmington. Um, obviously, Sebastian can talk about that later, that we also um, you know, follow the SUN principle uh, and we have hubs in the APAC and EMEA region to support you as well. So basically, it comes down to how are you organized internally? What are your current requirements? But not only your current, also your future requirements. Are there any projects on the horizon uh, acquisition that you need assistance with? Um, so being flexible uh, as, a, as a partner to your organization is crucial. Having that uh, level of transparency, the proactiveness of informing you about changes in, in legislation and other uh, items that might occur due to the change in your portfolio are extremely important in choosing a provider. And let's cross this conversation into the CSC Global Subsidiary Management Solution. Sebastian. Perfect. Thank you, John. Uh, before, before we start with the, with the solution, I just want to make a comment on, on the poll, which is so the 70%, uh, the 70 result uh, of, of lack of in-country in expertise. And I just want to point out that the, the, the you know, the interest acquisition is, uh, um, is extremely, extremely beneficial to, to us and our clients from that standpoint, uh, because it's adding about 4,000 people that are experts in their region, in their country. So that's, that's a big, big uh, workforce that is being added to the, to the CSC family. And that will be addressing this uh, this concern uh, immediately. So um, it's um, I just wanted to point that out. Um, the e solution now. So um, what is GSM? In fact, how do we work? Uh, so our solution uh, will allow you to enter new markets and remain in good standing uh, whenever your business, uh, wherever your business is, is taking you. Uh, in fact, we're here to take away the burden of managing global subsidiaries so that you can focus on your, on your core business. Um, with CSC, uh, you'll be able to work with one provider with a proactive, centralized CSC workflow and a dedicated team in your time zone. Uh, depending on the size and, and the reach of your portfolio, uh, this dedicated team may be augmented by up to two additional regional hubs providing in-region availability and expertise, like we said before. Uh, so we're here to uh, provide you with a follow the sun world-class service. Service. Uh, service is at the center of everything we do, right? Uh, we say service is our, is our middle name. Uh, so we treat your business with the same urgency, the same attention to detail, and the same sense of responsibility uh, that we do our own. To achieve that, um, you'll have access to in-country expertise uh, and an experienced and tenured staff that will ensure that you are compliant with the latest regulations around the world. Um, so how do we make all of that function? Well, with, with technology. Uh, our award-winning technology solution, CST Entity Management, provides an automated, centralized view of your data and documentation in real time. Uh, it can also be configured uh, to meet your specific needs. And, um, of course, it is backed by, by stringent uh, data security protocols. Uh, nowadays, it's, uh, it's, it's a must. Um, last but not, but not least, simplification. We are here to make your life easier and take on the administrative burden of your corporate secretarial functions. Also, uh, the centralized, our centralized flat rate invoicing Eliminate billing headaches, budget uncertainties uh, that may otherwise come with uh, 
paying hourly rates in, in, in various currencies. The uh, global subsidiary management service model now, um, what is our secret sauce? What is our, our recipe? So I would say that what differentiates us is how we deliver services to our clients. Um, you always have, of course, the front end, you know, the entity management, the people uh, helping you, uh, that are on the phone with you per email. Uh, but in fact, we are, we are here. There's, there's tons of people in the background that you don't see uh, that are very essential to, to, to the business. Um, our, our goal is to become an extension of your team, to take away the corporate secretarial burden so that you can focus on your core business. Um, we, we are not simply pushing the burden from you to us without having the flexible and efficient way of handling complex tasks on a global scale. This alone wouldn't work, and that's why we have a specific process in place, internal processes, internal support team uh, that you might not see, uh, but they are essential to the, to the business and to the service delivery. Uh, so we have a completely different approach uh, to global corporate secretarial. Uh, our teams are spread among three hubs, uh, the Americas, the U.S. here mainly in, in Wilmington, Delaware, uh, um, Europe, uh, EMEA uh, hub, and APAC, uh, all three connected, uh, working together. Depending on your preferences, uh, for example, uh, where is your, uh, where your headquarters located, uh, so depending on your preferences, a primary hub will be designated. This primary hub will be your first stop for everything you need. And its capabilities and global reach will be augmented by the other two hubs. So you always get regional experts helping you when needed. Two people in the primary hub plus one in each regional hub will compose your dedicated team. So in fact, you always know who's handling your file. It might not necessarily be one single person, depending on the size of the portfolio, but at least you know you have a team of experts, and that's the team that is helping you every single day uh, around the world. Um, of course, if your portfolio is on the smaller side, you might prefer, uh, you might prefer having only one person in one hub being your single point of contact, and that is absolutely fine. We will adjust based on your preferences. Um, the dedicated team will be your voice, eyes, and ears towards all foreign offices. You won't need to pick up the phone 50 times across multiple time zones. Uh, we have the people, the, we have the internal processes, a strong internal support team, and we also have the technology to do that for you efficiently. Um, let's look at the CSC advantage now. Um, a few uh, a few differentiators here. Uh, I'd like to 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 highlight some of them. Uh, the relationship with CSC starts with contracting and KYC. This will be your very first experience with us. So of course we determined to get it right um, when dealing with multiple vendors around the world, uh, we, we touched on that a little bit earlier today, right? when we deal with multiple vendors around the world, contracting and KYC can become a real burden uh, with several contracts to review, negotiate, sign, and your very sensitive KYC information given multiple times to multiple third parties, uh, which can of course raise some privacy and confidentiality concerns. At CSC, centralization is the key word your primary hub will centralize contracting and KYC onboarding. You'll need to review and execute only one set of contracts and provide KYC documentation only at once. We're here to help you. We, we're not here to make your life any more difficult with duplicated requests. Um, so that's something that is truly important uh, to us to, to have a centralized approach uh, for service delivery. Our invoicing, like I said before, is, is, uh, is flexible as well. Uh, whether you're paying uh, one single bill to CSE US 
or needs to have invoicing broken down uh, um, uh, for each subsidiary, your primary hub will be centralizing all invoicing for your convenience. So you don't get bombarded by uh, 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 different invoices coming from tons of vendors. Um, so there won't be any issues with uh, invoices coming sporadically in, in, and in different formats. Uh, our follow the sun uh, model will allow you to get support from our experts around the clock, uh, our local experts, regional experts, and we saw how important it was in the in the poll uh, taken previously. Seventy percent uh, uh, were saying that it, it is a concern, it is an issue for them. Um, we are, um, and what I mentioned here is, it seems like a detail, but it's in fact extremely important. We are a privately owned company since 1899. And we've been built on long-term partnerships. Being a private company also makes us a flexible organization to accommodate your needs. No customer is too small, no customer is too big for us. We're here to scale with you geographically, but also in terms of the extent of services we are providing. Last but not least, uh, we're a service company, yes, but we're being powered by an award-winning technology. We have a very comprehensive offer of services, even more now with Intertrust, uh, a global footprint. We can help you everywhere in the world. There might be very, very few exceptions, uh, maybe dictated by uh, regulatory uh, uh, obligations, um, but in general, we can help you everywhere in the world. And we have a highly skilled professional uh, with proactive and dynamic approach to uh, to the business. Um, how is it to work with CSC also in terms of the services that we can uh, provide to uh, to you? Uh, I will hand it over to you, John, uh, and uh, uh, to tell us more about the the intake uh, services. Uh, that, that we can provide at, at GSM. Sebastian, thank you so much. And everybody, we're going to be fairly abridged with this discussion of services. This is nothing more than an introduction today, but we certainly look forward to exploring this further with you specifically. So always feel free to reach out to your customer solutions manager or, or member of our service team here at CSC. I'm going to start talking, if, if we talk about these services um, chronologically, the very first thing we will talk about is intake and the transfer of services over to CSC. This is an integral part of what we do because this builds the foundation for your ongoing services. Now, first of all, transferring entities looks different in different jurisdictions. In some jurisdictions, we will actually be facilitating a change of appointment, perhaps taking on appointments of registered office, company secretary, moving physical minute books and the like. In some jurisdictions, it's fairly simple. We may just take on the services from that point moving forward and let the incumbent provider know. But in all cases, we have due diligence to collect. Uh, I would assume that most of our audience today is familiar with the concept of KYC or know your customer due diligence. And of course, we have obligations to collect that. And uh, frankly, this is the heaviest lift that our clients have when it comes to the transfer, and we simplify this further than many organizations by way of centralization. Now, there's no way to skirt these regulations around the world, but very commonly when working with a service provider, you would have different touch points and different fulfillment obligations in different jurisdictions. CSE's goal is to centralize the collection of KYC due diligence. Of course, we're going to work within the degree of what's required in country, so there's no way around that, but we're going to make it easy by having a transition project manager who works with you to simplify those processes to, um, to ask for those required documents in a timely fashion, to backfill as is necessary, and to ease your mind when it comes to the collection of KYC due diligence. In jurisdictions where we are taking on appointments, CSC will facilitate those appointments simply we take on the cost of the change of appointments, change of registered office or domicile, change of company secretary. We work with your incumbent provider to move physical minute books if that is the requirement. And this is all set up by way of great communication. So as you see, the very first bullet here, the kickoff call with your project management team, 
Some managers uh, will join that call. Oftentimes, I will join that call. Rohair will join that call to make sure that we're handing off the, the services between our sales team and our service team with uh, great communication. The communication around this transfer is critical. Your project manager who's handling the, the transfer will clearly delineate what your requirements are and the data that is to be collected from you. The next part of the transfer is a detailed audit of each of your entities that we call the corporate health check. In my opinion, this is one of the most valuable tools that we provide for our client base. The corporate health check involves CSC pulling data directly from the public registries in country. So please understand that we are not asking you to turn over rocks to produce this information, but we're going out into the market to gather this information on your behalf. We're going to understand jurisdictional specific information, such as identification numbers, the proper spelling of the entity name, or maybe we stiff out a misspelling at the business registry. We'll understand things like the address on file currently and the location of the physical minute books, or at least where they're required to be. We'll understand a complete picture of all of the dates and deadlines for your corporate secretarial obligation. If this is a place where you lack visibility now, we're going to bring that into focus for you. We're going to understand all of your current appointments on file through the eyes of the business registry, current officers and directors, and jurisdictions where it's available. We'll understand powers of attorney and signing authority, bringing that all to the surface. We're going to understand critically any deficiencies that exist and if there are remedial actions that should be taken. And of course, we're here to help with those remedial actions if you see fit. When all of this is complete, one of my very favorite processes here is we're going to take all of this beautiful, clean, trustworthy data and migrate it into CSE Entity Management at no additional cost to you. So you're going to be starting with a piece of technology that is up to date with a calendar of events that is real and vetted with officer and director data that is accurate by way of the corporate secretarial uh, governing bodies and country and jurisdictional specifics that are populated for you. And one of the things that's really unique about CSC is the way we bill for these transfer activities. Rather than burying you in a sea of invoices for transfer, KYC and AML collection, change of registered office, change of company secretary, we simplify it with one consolidated invoice that's billed as a corporate health check to make it a much easier process for all of our clients. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. So uh, um, I, I agree with you. This 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 phase, the intake phase, is the most critical. This is also when we learn a lot about our customers, uh, and we can uh, um, help them uh, to, uh, to 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 grow into uh, into new markets. Uh, when the uh, intake is done, when the KYC is, is done, when the the, the the you know the portfolio is uh, all checked. Uh, then we go into the uh, the service, the annual support services, and there you have basically, uh, um, you know, you have a distinction between the annual compliance, uh, which is uh, which are things that you know are coming up every year. Uh, they are uh, your annual uh, um, uh, filings. Uh, you need to maintain. Uh, we need to maintain your books. Uh, we need sometimes to provide you with an address. Domiciliation, registered, registered office. Um, some customers also need us to have um, resident directors, uh, local appointments as well. Uh, and this is um, what we call the, the the annual compliance, the recurring services. Basically, you you know once it's set up at the beginning, this is what you need on a yearly basis, and every year it's just being renewed. And at least you you know. Uh, you know what, what's coming. We will maintain your books, your shareholder registry, officer and, and director registries. Um, um, next to that, there are the ad hoc transactions. And here it's, it's more, you know, it's, it's unplanned. It's, it's uh, things that are coming up uh, that, uh, that come your way. And of course, they are, they are coming our way. Um, a good example is officer and director changes. Uh, let's say you have one one person being a director on on the board of your subsidiaries. Uh, that person is retiring. Therefore, we need to replace this person with another one. Uh, so, a multiple filings will need to be done everywhere in the world where this person, he or she, uh, was was duly appointed. Uh, you will need support with formation, liquidation of entities. Uh, there might be a, 
special uh, statutory filings, uh, ad hoc resolutions that need to be drafted. Uh, you might need, for some reason, us to retrieve documents, official documents in country, uh, and now also going back to uh, AML compliance, uh, there is more and more uh, UBO reporting out there. UK is an example, but there are other countries around the world, Hong Kong, etc., uh, where we actually need to report uh, ultimate beneficial owners. Um, so this is um, uh, this is the um, uh, 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 the core of the services that we provide on a, on a yearly uh, basis, on a recurring basis. Um, next to that, there are additional specialized um, services. And I would say uh, these are the services that we can also provide now with the addition of Intertrust uh, because certain services in the past like accounting, uh, uh, reporting, cash compliance, uh, treasury management, which is cash management, uh, basically managing your, your local bank account uh, for you. These are services that GSM was not providing before. Uh, but now, uh, with Intertrust, it is very different because these are uh, core services uh, in the uh, legacy Intertrust world. Uh, these are services that they've been providing for decades. Um, they have uh, the right staff, the right people for it. Uh, so now, we, we're happy to uh, be able to provide these services to our clients. Um, and I would say it, it might not be for, for everyone, obviously, uh, but I would encourage any, um, any client that is open to it, uh, and that, that has the, um, um, uh, the corporate secretarial work with GSM to look into the accounting and reporting and the tax compliance. Why? Because in many countries around the world, including the Netherlands, for example, you have what is called transaction monitoring. So when you provide services in the Netherlands, depending on the services you provide, but pretty much everything that is in scope for GSM, you need to provide transaction monitoring, meaning the team over there has to monitor every single transaction that is going through those bank accounts over there. Um, it's nothing very different than um, cash reconciliation and, and bookkeeping, uh, so to speak. So if you have the corporate secretarial uh, with CSD and you have the accounting elsewhere, you might want to look into consolidating, of course, and, and, and now that we can provide accounting services because you will be saving time and, and a lot of money uh, by avoiding uh, duplicating uh, 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 reporting obligations. Uh, so that's one that I wanted to point out, but all these services are um, uh, are here to, to, to help you now. So I believe we are now going to the entity management software. I'm trying to be mindful of time. Uh, and uh, now back to you, Rohir, if you want to say a few words. Uh, yes, in, uh, we have little time left, but, um, you know, CSC entity management system or platform an integrated uh, solution to our service offering of global subsidiary management services. I would like to say it's the glue to our operation, but uh, rather than you know looking at the benefits that are here on screen, um, there are other advantages to have a entity management system in place. Um, you know, the people within the organization that handle compliance, governance, and legal operations are often the most busiest, but also the most interrupted people in the business. Having a single source of truth that is managed by CSD um, is obviously a good point to start. There are some advantages because you get more time for strategic thinking, um, using the time more efficient uh, to address other matters that are of strategic importance to your organization. Um, you are able to cultivate better quality entity data. Um, simply a single source of truth Having that managed by CSC is key. Sometimes our clients decide to manage it themselves, but if they have multiple users uh, across the entire globe, um, not everything is, a, is being stored in the same way, causing all kinds of issues trying to extract that information when necessary. Um, you also 
um, reduce the risk of compliance uh, for each entity in each jurisdiction. So managing risk or managing entity risk becomes crucial of having an entity management system in place. Our award-winning system, CSC Entity Management Platform, will assist you uh, with this going forward.